Hi, it's Redheaded Riding Hood here, Red for short. I'm gonna read you William Barclay's Daily Celebration. And um, when this video comes out, it'll be my birthday. So happy birthday to me. I went, I got my nails done. I went um, to a rally for um, Harris and Walls in Aurora that they had sort of last minute. Um, um, she, uh, Kamala wasn't there, but other um, state representatives. And um, then we went out canvassing. It was very hot today. I got sunburn, but it was good. It was good. And um, ironically, today's is Be Your Age. In an introduction to pastoral counseling, Dr. Kathleen Hesman talks of the ages of man. There are three main ages, each with its own characteristics. The first reaches its peak in youth when the achievements are reached in spheres involving physical attributes such as strength and speed. The second is middle age when a state of maturity and self-confidence has been reached and when the successful have attained the height of their profession of career. And the third, the third is in old age when the mental attributes such as experience and systematic thinking are the crucial factors and when wisdom has been learned. One of the supreme, supreme, supreme mistakes in life is to try to re maintain, remain at a, a stage from which we should have moved on. There is a mistake to try to remain young. There is wisdom in knowing when the time for competitive games has come to an end. There is still more wisdom in learning to leave young people to themselves. Peter Pans, who refused to grow up, are tragic rather than attractive figures. Youth is a magnificent time, but it does not last. We must accept that. Dr. Heisman says that middle age is a time when a man reaches the height of his profession or career. Here is the temptation to stay on too long. Yeah, you know, Trump and Biden were too old. So I was still gonna vote because Biden's far more competent in my opinion <laughs> than uh, Trump, but uh, Trump is dangerous, but they were both, we need some young, someone younger in there, someone my age. So, there can be such a thing as a delusion of indispensability. There are few people who are immune from the conscious or unconscious desire for power. Power is difficult to lay down. To be able to leave the top in its own way as great an achievement as to be able to reach the top. Oh, to be able to leave the top in its own way as great an achievement as to be able to reach the top. And yeah. Biden stepping down was just so humble, something that, you know, that Trump would never even be able to do. I mean, he can't even admit when he loses, you know, um, and it, it was just, I think it'll go down as, in history as a great thing. It showed great humility and, and he cared more about the course of the country than than in his own personal 
um, you know, uh, desires to win. One of the biggest problems in life is to remember that one's children and the people whom one taught are now grown up. The transition from authority to equality is something which not is not always easy to make. But if personal relationships and the closest personal relationships are to be right, it must be made. There's a popular saying, be your age. It is good advice. Yeah. Um. That's a good one. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. Um, all right, yeah, I'm sunburned in my neck now. Um, don't say that no one cares for you because I do and God does too. Don't forget to pray for Red because Red is praying for you. Bye.